I'm Mary Gannon, Senior Editor with Design World, and I'm here with John Piscatelli from Canfield Industries. We're here going to be talking about Canfield's new uh, solenoid valve drivers, so John's going to jump right in and tell us a little bit about this new technology for the company. We have developed uh, a new product, which we call our micro solenoid driver. What this is, is it's an inline connection that plugs into your typical solenoid valve. The technology that we use is such that when you turn on your valve, it will run quickly at whatever voltage you're using and then cut it, which turns off and on really, really fast, which allows you to choose what percentage of voltage you would like to use. A big benefit of this is that it allows your coils to run much, much cooler as opposed to not using it, which is going to get you a longer life out of your valve as well as keep more accurate readings depending on your applications. Thank you, John. And what kind of applications would these be most commonly used in? Pretty much anywhere where you would use a solenoid valve, these could be used. However, in uh, certain things where ambient temperatures could be an issue, if you have somewhere where it's outside, outdoors, and it's going to get a lot of sunlight, you want to keep it cool, as well as maybe in the leak testing world, whereas these different temperatures will throw off your data. Great. So are you going to show us how it all works? Absolutely. As you can see here, this one right here is using the solenoid driver. Now we have this running at 12 volts DC, and as you can see on the meter that it's only running at about half of that. Okay. If you feel the coil as well, you could feel that it's also much cooler. Okay. Whereas this one, we just have a regular connector, okay. and it's running 12 volts as read on the meter. And the coil on this one is much hotter. Oh, definitely. You can definitely feel that. Here. And that could even give you an idea of how much. Okay, this coil here using the micro solenoid driver is running at roughly 87 degrees Fahrenheit. If we move this over to the other one that's just using a regular connector, it's already jumped up at 105 and climbing. You see it's still going, now we're over 111. So you can see this is going to make a large difference in the temperature of your coils, which is going to allow for a much longer life. How much uh, of a longer life do you expect to see with this technology, John? Uh, we can expect about a 30 to 35 percent longer life cycle in your valves. That's a really great improvement, John. Are there any other new complementary technologies that we'll be seeing that will improve this technology as well? We're actually developing a very similar inline package just like this, which would contain a timer. And our timer would have many different functions, cycle timing, square timing, off delay, on delay. We can use these kind of timers right in line, which would give you all a sealed package and uh, pretty much be ready to plug and play. That's very interesting, John. Uh, is there anything else that uh, our viewers should know about anything new going on at Canfield Industries? Yeah, we have a lot of new products coming out here in the future. Uh, we pride ourselves on constantly keeping up with the innovation and technology that our customers are looking for. We are a company who has the engineering capabilities to create a product especially for our customers' requests, not just let them order apart from a catalog. Great. Good to hear. And thanks for having us here, John. We appreciate your time today. And as always, visit us online at www.designworldonline.com for more videos and visit www.canfieldindustries.net for more on their company. Thank you so much.